Oh. Are these for the gauges? Yeah. I just finished doing the inside and truing the ends up. Now, got to go and turn the outside down. We want about an eighth of an inch on the edge and then we'll flute these. Trying to make that more flush with the gauges? No, I don't. Well, it's going to be an eighth of an inch out, just like that. You know, this is just an eighth inch piece yeah. of okay. material. And then we'll chamfer this back, maybe, or something, and then we're going to flute this all the way around. Same with these, like right now. So I got all the insides are turned. I bored all them out. Now we got to go. This thing stinks. So that's where I gotta I gotta turn the whole outside down to that mark. That's the size of our bezel on our gauge, and then we want it sticking up an eighth of an inch. So those big or, ones were that thick before too? Yeah, they were thick too, yeah. Turn them down to that. Yep. there we are getting there we're about to be together 
Yes, sir. Almost ready to start tacking it. Yep. Get this flange done, and they have to build that little jog around the steering column. And then uh, we'll do that separate because it's a harder piece to make. And then uh, a couple welds and put, put it on the back. Tack it up. Little by little. That's it. That's all you can do. Little by little. Till it fits. Little here, little there, little here, little there. <laughs> so we are sneaking up on it. Looking good. I'm going to get one of them. That's that screw? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That goes in there. And then this gets polished and goes on the outside. That'll be black down in there and then these will be polished. We're getting there. That's gonna look cool. It is definitely gonna look cool. Once it gets all. Are we doing something similar on the other side? For... Uh, the other side will be shallower and have a grab handle. Okay. But same shape. Gotcha. So it looks the same on both sides, but there'll be a grab handle on the front. And it won't, it'll only be two inches deep, half that depth. Making it all one piece now. So. The rest of the gauges on back order or something? No, they're here. I just don't. Uh, I just didn't need them to mock up. The, the, the ones on the outer edge are the most important ones and, and getting those straight. But no, we do have uh, the other two. That's not the, that's this not is gonna not the trim ring. Okay. This is the trim ring that goes on it. This, this is the one for that. We just used it to measure with. But, so basically there's no cutout for the column on this side. Gotcha. And that's about how far it'll protrude once it's built. So this will be the passenger side, the oh shit grip. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. It's gonna be really cool. And then this is getting wrapped in leather. Wrapped in leather. And it's so, gonna look sharp. It's gonna look cool. If it turns out anything like that one, it will. So match the gauges. Yeah, that's going to be a cool touch. Yeah, I think so. Do you know what, what color we're painting the inside? Uh, I do not know. Oh, in here? In here yeah. it'll be black. Black. Down in, down in there will be black and then these will be polished. And then the trim ring will be polished. So it should be like a satin black in there. 
Unless it changes. That's what I was told. So. That looked good. I think so. It looked good in that uh, tan color too, the accent color. Yeah, we just have to do this same thing over again shorter. Because it's only going to be about an inch or so off. I think it's an inch and an eighth. Very cool. Should be should be good. So anyway, the idea is to make a top and a bottom and put the weld where it's hidden behind the handle. With the gauges in the other one, there were places to disguise things. Well, on this one, this is open, this is open, so we'll put the welds behind where the handle goes and then there'll be no body work or anything. So. Right. Step on that inset. Yep. As long as that's fine for you, it gives you three inches here. Yeah, that's grab plenty. It. Okay, so that's like an inch and a quarter deep. Yep. Okay. It looks good to me. I like it. All right. It's going to look nice. All right. Two. That's all we'll do with it. Piece that's going to wrap around the sides here. Yeah, that, it'll have a flange on it that basically sandwiches in here, and then that'll be our our depth. Won't be very deep. The gauges are four inches. This one's only about an inch and an inch and a quarter. So, but you got to be able to grab the handle and get in there. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until it fits, until it fits, little here, little there. And these shrinker stretchers, they have different heads. Yeah, this one stretches the metal, so basically a, a, this is a shrinker, it actually pulls it together, that's a stretcher. So the stretcher will basically spread, grabs the metal and spreads it open to make a bend. And then the shrinker, or the, the shrinker, it basically grabs the metal and pulls it together. So you could, like if you wanted to go this way, you would shrink it to pull it this way. You stretch the outside of it to, to bend the corner opposite way. I have to uh, sand the back and get the depth set correct. Uh, and then I'll tack weld it together and we'll drop it in the dash and see what it looks like. Crushing your head. I mean, I'm only crushing your heads. Crush you. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, 
commenting and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. You want to buy merch? Go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.